Obviously, our region is vulnerable to severe weather any time of the year. And with 55,000 miles of tree line power lines and over a million poles, power outages can happen. Preparation really is our best protection. So while you can't control the weather, you can control how you weather the storm. Here with more, please welcome Steve Landrum with Centerpoint Energy. Good morning. All right, so let's start with uh, kind of where Centerpoint fits into all of this. A lot of times when people have a power outage, they'll call, like, for example, your, your, your service is Reliant. And Reliant's like, well, that's not really us, but they may be a provider, but you all are the ones responsible for the lines. That's correct. Uh, Deborah. the um, reliability of the electric grid, uh, the transmission distribution, that is a responsibility of Centerpoint Energy on the electric side as well as the natural gas side. So yeah. if there's an outage, it's our crews that do the repair, and it's our planning and preparation that really strengthens that grid and uh, gets uh, us in a position where we can handle severe weather. Yeah, when you say planning and preparation, I'll never forget, because I didn't really understand how this worked. Uh, when Ike came through, yeah. we were, I think, down at the, the race park, and there were, like, tons of cots and stuff where linemen from around the country and Canada came down. You knew that there was going to be a problem, so they were prepared to go. That's correct, Deborah. There are plans set in motion. We practice uh, drill. We just finished May 17th, the drill day, uh, where we did mock hurricanes. And the preparation is there. And if there is the event of an emergency operation plan call out, we have those mutual assistance crews that can come in and support. And we do the same thing uh, for other utilities. It's a very unique uh, aspect of the utility business. Yeah, all right. Uh, there's some things that we can do to kind of mitigate the circumstances. One of them is, uh, I know you all will go through and make sure that tree limbs are cut if they're too close to power lines. That is correct. Tree trimming is a big part of what we do, and we also ask uh, customers to make sure that they do not plant uh, trees and other obstacles or plant things in easements that make it difficult for us to do restoration or even just day-to-day oh, the trees go down, they'll hit those lines down, too. Well, trees yes, and yeah. power lines, they don't play nice together, so <laughs> we want to make sure there's adequate space. Yeah. And so if you live in, like, King Wood, the woodlands or River Oaks, you're going to have some tree situations. All right. Well, those are beautiful yeah, places. Yeah, beautiful places. Beautiful but places. But make sure your uh, trees aren't right, right, by those right, lines. Exactly. All right. So uh, one thing I remember after Ike also is that people were driving around looking at all the damage, and there were power lines that were down. So when you see down power lines, yeah. you've got to pay, pay attention to that. Do not assume that that line is not energized. Stay completely away. Our crews will take care of the problem. Uh, and it is possible that that may be something you want to call in. But for the most part, I can't emphasize enough, stay away from power lines. Yeah, and there are some people who are prepared uh, for the power to go out because they have generators. So They do. Uh, but the thing that you want to stress is natural gas generators in particular. Deborah, that's correct. Uh, one of the great things, uh, generators, any type of generator, actually serves a wonderful purpose uh, in helping you ride through a storm. But a natural gas generator is actually a very large, robust machine. It's got the generating capacity. They call it KW rating. Mm -hmm. That'll actually power your entire house. Yeah. And even better than that, it can power your AC. And I think if you've ever gone even, you know, a short duration without air conditioning your house, seconds, I went well, once. <laughs> you know, humidity yeah. and heat can build up. So people are looking for that comfort level. And that's the beauty of a natural gas generator. Yeah. And you don't even really know that your power went out a lot of times. It just, just it's almost seamless when it, it crosses is, over. I think that's a great word, seamless. You will, you will really see in a very short number of seconds, uh, thanks to a switch, they call it an ATS. It notes when the outage occurs, and it will disconnect you from the grid for safety. Mm -hmm. It'll fire up the generator. When power is restored, it reverses the process. The generator's turned off. You're back in business. Yeah, we know because uh, the neighbor across the street during Ike, uh, there was like, they were like, "Is your power out?" And we're like, "Yeah, oh." We have a generator. Like, can you invite us over just for a little bit of air conditioning? It's like, oh, maybe it'll be on soon. I was going to say, if you wanted to be the most popular person in your neighborhood, get a natural gas generator, yeah. all right? We just want some cold food, just a cold drink of water. All right, uh, generator 101. So tips for selecting a generator. What, what should you look at? Well, there's a couple of things that you really need to look at. I think the number one deal is you need to figure out exactly what do you want to power at your house. It is possible to fire up a few dedicated circuits, but I think most folks are really looking for that full uh, comfort yeah, and the security. Like you normally do. It, that's exactly it. Maintain, even though the power's out, your life goes on. You want to maintain that lifestyle. And I think that's the number one thing. Get with a very competent dealer. We have dealers in our, our program. Uh, these are our, our factory trained uh, professionals, been in business of selling and maintaining generators for many, many years. Get you a good dealer, get it sized right, get it located, and then you're in business. Yeah, and installed by licensed electricians and plumbers. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that's essential. This is an investment. 
and you don't want, as we call Chuck in the truck, putting yeah. this in. Yeah. You want. Of course, we'll take Chuck in the truck like we're in the crisis mode, so yeah. do it now. Do it now so you don't well, have to Well, I would that, say right? then yeah. think yeah. in preparation, <laughs> do it before the right. storm right. and get a very competent dealer like our participating dealers. Yeah. Tell us about the Storm Resource Center. The Storm Resource Center is on our website, centerpointenergy.com slash generator. And it is just a few different website links and some information to get you better prepared, much like what you saw with the Red mm -hmm. Cross presentation, mm -hmm. uh, including some other information and links. Uh, you'll even find, uh, hopefully, this uh, program uh, episode on our website yeah. for future reference. All right. And I want to talk to Janetta real quick. Janetta is uh, a member of our live studio audience as well. And Janetta, you had a comment or question? Yes. How do I prepare for an unexpected guest that may be on a ventilator? Mm, yeah, well, and the people on oxygen machines, all that type of stuff. Well, I, I tell you what. Um, first of all, there is uh, there is information on centerpointenergy.com that you can go to learn a little bit more about critical care uh, customers and critical loads. I will tell you that basically the, the suggestion from Centerpoint Energy is that if you're in that type of situation, you need to take steps way ahead of any storm so that you can get that individual to a facility so they can be safe. Do not count on uninterruptible power. The other solution might be if you do have a generator that may allow you to ride through that outage. But yeah. take those preparatory steps. Take that person to a place of safety. Yeah, because the deal is when you have millions of people without power, you know, it just it's a matter of time when they can get to you, and it may be too much Exactly. Time. In large magnitude, and, and it takes uh, a fair amount of time to assess and certainly restore. We usually tell people in the case of a, of a very large event, you might be looking at easily two weeks yeah. without power. Yeah, so that could be almost an evacuation situation, too. Go ahead and leave. Right. If you can't yeah, get your power taken care of, go ahead and leave. But, Deborah, so you, you never, sure you never know. Um, we certainly live on the Gulf Coast. We yeah. know hurricane season starts right. tomorrow. But we get stormy weather um, almost every day. Yeah. Uh, and you need to be aware of uh, the, the, the various things that you can take in terms of preparatory steps. A generator, in, in my perspective, is a great way to ride through Absolutely. that storm. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Centerpoint Energy's participating dealers have a special offer for Great Day viewers. You can receive up to $1,500 off a qualifying generator. And for a limited time, when you purchase a Kohler generator, you'll also get a free five-year extended warranty. For more information, call 713-20-POWER. 713-20-POWER, that works out to be 713-207-6937. You can also log on to their website at centerpointenergy.com slash generator. Well, Centerpoint Energy's natural gas standby generator program is also one of the proud sponsors of the KHOU 11 2017 Hurricane Preparedness Guide, and you can download it for free at khou.com.